first of all we're going to remove the airflow or mass airflow sensors and all that stuff uh, the filter box or actually this, this tube so we can gain access more readily to the VTEC solenoid that's located right here here I am I'm just taking off all the hose clamps and unscrewing it uh, trying to wiggle it out uh, there's also another hose clamp underneath that we'll need to remove you can see me doing that right now I will also be removing all these uh, sensors just to get them off of the tube the airflow tube here I am also removing or moving back and undoing these clips that are on the, the air line. Uh, these are vacuum hose lines. I'm clipping them off or uh, pinching off the, the clamps that they are and taking them off of this airflow. All right, we just wiggled this off. So instead of taking the, off the air box, I am making room for myself to wiggle off the, the air inflow tube. Um, I undid a lot of the electrical connections. Um, there is also one more that is on the distributor where I've unscrewed to be able to access it better and remove the clips. So just go ahead and remove all the electrical clips here, like I'm doing here. Uh, there is a few of them that you'll have to remove. Um, majority of them are push clips where you have to push down and pull them apart. Uh, there are several of them that you will have to remove. So just go ahead and once you take a look inside, you'll be able to see which sensors and which electrical connections and harnesses you'll have to remove. Here I am removing the bolt on the VTEC solenoid. This is the first bolt that you can remove that is really easy to get to. Here I am pointing with my finger where the second bolt on the passenger side is. You will have to use a small 10 millimeter span or wrench to be able to access this and basically crack it off and loosen it before you can use a this one right here. standard socket wrench to be able to access it. It's pretty, you have a lot of access if you have a small little wrench. Um, you may be able to get, I might be able to get my uh, socket in there, but you probably have to get underneath here. It's hard to get in from the top. The second of the two is just right, right there. You can see it right there. Easy to get to. Got my little trusty wrench. Go down and do some. Basically crack it with the... Here I am removing the lower bolt on the VTEC solenoid. Uh, I, I used that small 10 millimeter wrench to crack it open. Then I used my hand to undo the bolt. You can see oil starting to drip out. I had problems getting this last bolt right here. It's a 10 millimeter. Um, a little wrench span, couldn't get it. Uh, I had to go and purchase um, a smaller socket wrench. Mine was too long. Uh, this one's a lot shorter. Uh, I can go and show you the one I currently had. You can see the size difference. Uh, I had to go and get this one just to get in that little tight spot. That So with the smaller wrench, or a socket, we can just go right in and loosen it. it just cracks right off. So with that loose, I'm gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna use my hands to loosen it. So here I am removing the bolt that I was having troubles with. I used a smaller 10 millimeter socket wrench, which I purchased uh, from a hardware store. Uh, once uh, I used the smaller socket wrench, I was able to crack it open. Then with the remaining uh, thread, I was just loosening it with uh, my 10 millimeter 
wrench or span. Uh, I also just started using my hand just to unthread it. So once all three of those bolts are off, you'll be able to remove the VTEC solenoid. Okay, don't lose the bolt. Push it in, grab it out. There you have it, we removed it. As you can see underneath this buildup right here. This <clears throat> was causing our oil leak. So stay tuned for how to open this up, clean it out, 